Picture this, the late 14th century, a period of notable political and social upheaval across Europe. The Plantagenet dynasty, a line of English kings, is embroiled in internal power struggles threatening to tear it apart. The Hundred Years' War, a seemingly endless conflict between England and France, drains resources and lives, creating an environment ripe for rebellion. Meanwhile, the common folk, burdened by heavy taxes and harsh feudal laws, rise up in the Peasants' Revolt of 1381, shaking the foundations of the established order. These events, each significant in its own right, interweave to create a tumultuous backdrop for the life of one man. This was a time when the world was on the cusp of great change, a time when the old order was being questioned and new ideas about governance, freedom and national identity were starting to take root. In this turbulent world, a Welsh hero emerges, Owain Glyndwa. Born around 1359 into a noble family, Owain Glyndwa was destined for prominence. This Welsh nobleman was not just born into luxury, but also into a world of knowledge. His early years were shaped by a robust education, one that prepared him for the challenges ahead. As a young man, he served the English crown, proving his mettle on the battlefield and earning respect for his courage and strategic acumen. His life took another significant turn when he married Margaret Hanmer. This union was not just about love, it was a strategic alliance that brought him additional lands and influence, amplifying his stature in Welsh society. However, beneath the facade of the loyal soldier and the prosperous landowner, a different narrative was taking shape. Glyndwa was not content with the status quo. He yearned for a Wales free from English dominion, but the seeds of rebellion were already being sown in Glyndra's heart. In the year 1400, Glyndra's discontent erupted into open rebellion. Long-standing disputes over land rights, coupled with a simmering resentment against anti-Welsh legislation, proved to be the tinder for this explosive revolt. The Welsh people, their spirit unbroken despite years of English rule, rallied behind Glyndra, their beacon of hope. In a bold move, Glyndra declared himself Prince of Wales, a title that had been absent from Welsh soil for over a century. His audacity sent shockwaves through the English ranks. The stage was set for a conflict that would shape the future of Wales. Glyndra led his people in a series of successful campaigns against the English. Town after town fell to the Welsh forces, their victories echoing in the valleys of their homeland. The English, caught off guard, were forced to retreat, marking a high point in Glyndra's rebellion. Yet the tide of war is fickle, and Glyndra's fortunes were about to change. By 1409, Glyndra's rebellion faced insurmountable odds. The English forces, bolstered by the might of King Henry IV, began to retake the Welsh territories. Glyndra, once a beacon of hope, saw his dream of an independent Wales crumbling around him. His disappearance in 1412 marks the end of the Welsh revolt, but the beginning of a legend. The English reconquest of Wales was thorough, but the embers of rebellion never truly died out. The spirit of Glyndwa, embodied in his resilient stand against the English, continued to flicker in the hearts of the Welsh people. His name became a rallying cry, a symbol of Welsh nationalism and resistance against oppression. Even today, centuries later, Glyndwa's influence is undeniable. His life and his struggle have been immortalised in literature, songs and folklore. Though Owain Glyndwa's rebellion did not succeed, his spirit continues to inspire the Welsh people to this day. So. Who was Owain Glyndwa? A nobleman by birth, a rebel by choice, and a legend by fate. His life journey took him from the courts of the nobility to the heart of the Welsh revolt. His courage and leadership ignited a flame of resistance that still burns in the Welsh spirit today. Owain Glyndwa, the last native Welshman to hold the title Prince of Wales, a hero born from turbulence, a symbol of resistance, forever etched in the annals of Welsh history.